All right, hello and welcome to another Extra Life stream. My name is Ryan Ritter, you can call me ND Tex, and yes, those of you that have been around since my HLS days over at Her Little Sons know all about the HLS sim. Now it's just a Notre Dame sim. Uh, my buddy Shane, he's, he's hung up his announcing headset, uh, traded it in for fatherhood, and here I am still raising money to help change kids' health, and I decided we got to bring this thing back. It's too much fun. I enjoy it, and it's a good way to lead into some gaming as well. So, uh, well, welcome, welcome to the seductive group. All right, well, yeah, let's get this bread. Let's go ahead and remember, gamingforhaven.org is where you can make those donations over to Extra Life. So whether you're live here on twitch.tv slash text, most Tuesdays at Notre Dame game weeks, I'll be here. I'll detail the exception in a second. Uh, I'm here Tuesdays uh, for The Sim. We'll do an hour of gaming afterwards once The Sim concludes. And of course, Thursday nights as well at 9 p.m. Uh, doing the Tears of the Kingdom run. That's why there's a Triforce over here. See, I could have redone the overlay, but I, um, I did. And um, also, I have noticed that everything I had set up, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Like, I, I have all my bits and everything that I, I have, the music cue and whatnot is all in different spots. So it's been fun to try to find all that again. And I was running late to begin with, so I apologize for the late start, but even if you're watching here live, youtube.com slash text, highly, highly appreciated. Please make that donation to help change kids' health. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Before I do, I did say most Notre Dame game weeks I would do this. The one exception will be next week against Tennessee State. The reason for that is because I can't really get a roster uh, for Tennessee State and doing a generic FCS team is just going to be a romp. It's not going to be fun. Uh, I really don't want to vamp for an hour and try to figure that out. Uh, I'm very excited for the game in real life, uh, but it's just not going to work out. So I'm going to skip that week. That'll be the only non bye week that I won't do a sim. Every other time, though, I will be right here uh, kicking things off on Tuesday nights with a sim. So I wanted to get that out of the way. The only other thing to note is that should all this go correctly, I, this game's going to be at Notre Dame Stadium. This game has a bad habit of turning the stadium black on occasion. And since I haven't loaded this thing in a while, who knows what it's going to do. But I don't have the ability to put this game in Ireland where it belongs. So we're just going to pretend. And we're just going to go for it. I did adjust the depth charts a little bit to make it current with Notre Dame. I got no idea about Navy. Look, I traded in the being super serious about this a long time ago. We're just going to go ahead and have fun. I'll do my best to keep up with Notre Dame's roster uh, and any injuries that may happen in real life to adjust in the game. But it's for the opponent, eh, especially with it being Navy. But with that all being said, let's go ahead and get ourselves into the game. Let's make sure, hopefully we get this all working right. All right, I'm out of practice. Let's see, please work, please work. And a all right, so far so good. That thing has blown up. As we recap the sim, it will be a night game in Ireland, so we'll bring it into nighttime over in South Bend. Notre Dame versus Navy, the game in the series that will never end, despite the fact I, I really don't know who all is, is getting hype for this, especially with Ken new and not to not there anymore. And I couldn't tell you Navy's coach at all. I forget. But we are here. Notre Dame, Navy, Notre Dame preseason rank number five. That can't be correct. I don't know. I think they're 13. I think that's correct. Uh, but anyways, we're going down to the coin toss. It is tails. And Notre Dame will get to pick. Let's see. Are they? Oh, my dear God. All right. We had our first screw up. Um, I forgot to make this a CPU game. Cool. Navy. Go Line me. We're going to be playing a kickoff. So here, we go. here comes the kick to Tyree. I'm going to die laughing if I take this to the house, but He'll it's on Heisman, it so I doubt it. He's, uh, he's, he's going to go somewhere. All right. One. We have a lot of things wrong here. 
Good lord. The play-by-play -play announcement is on. I don't have a uh, CPU versus CPU. I am, I'm awesome, man. I'm all over this. Let's see, house rule, isn't that where I can uh, turn things on and off? Where is the visual settings, gameplay? Where, where's the sound? There we go, volume control. Let's, uh, let's turn the commentators off. How in the world did you get on? Uh, anytime, go faster. This is this is great streaming. All right, there we go. I really hope this works. Please don't make me run a play. All right, we're back to well as normal as a sim gets. Notre Dame will start with, on the ball on their 28 yard line. Sam Hartman to take his first snap as a member of the Fighting Irish. Back of the shotgun will hand off to Estime. Estime heads up to the left side for a handful of yards. Five yard gain, second and five. And hopefully that is most of the game plan here. Overpower a smaller Navy line. Oh, thank you. I always love the round off donations. Thank you so much for rounding it off as Hartman completes his first catch as a member of the Irish. A six yard gain and a first down for Tobias Merriweather. Two plays, a first down, and there's the first five wide drink of the season. Hartman back to pass, throws it down towards the sideline and just barely incomplete. It looked good, just was not able to get that one foot down. Four wide for the Irish, three over to Hartman's left. Another handoff to Estime, who cuts back towards the right side, breaks two tackles in the backfield, runs over another pair of Navy defenders for an eight yard gain. He is a very large man. It's always nice to have a running back the size of a linebacker. It helps. Just going to throw that out there. Two tight ends for the Irish. Hartman drops back to pass in third and two, and it is complete to Mitchell Evans. So the post mayor tight end world starts off with Evans getting a nice pitch and catch wide open there too. So, so far, Hartman only with one incompletion, and it was not a bad pass. It was a good shot towards the uh, sideline downfield. So now the Irish push it all the way into Navy territory. Estime cuts over to the left side. Six-yard game. He has been impossible to break, bring down so far, getting five-plus yards of carry every single time. Second and four. The overlay isn't updating totals. Oh dear, we're, we're all broken. And Jaden Thomas toe drags it for an 11 yard gain and a completion. We'll check in there a little bit later, Kimichi, whether or not that updates the totals. But his first to 10, Irish eye in the red zone, hand off to SMA, he'll bring it inside, inside the 15, almost has a first down, nine yard gain. Irish doing absolutely whatever they want. Please do this on Saturday. It's week zero. We're kicking off the college football season, and God knows we all don't need a heart attack. Second and one. Mitchell goes in motion across the line to the right. Hartman drops back to the pass. Throws it to a dragging Evans. And that is a 10-yard gain inside the five-yard line. First down for the Irish, first and goal. All the bodies, all the tight ends in here. A pitch to Estime, nobody's gonna touch him, and it is an easy touchdown for the sophomore. Please, please let this be reality. All right. Let's see if things are still broken. Irish lineup for the extra point, kick is up, kick is good. And it is seven nothing, 525 left to go here in the first quarter. We'll see how the defense reacts to the offense. Kick is up, away, and an easy touchback. So which part didn't update, Kamichi? It's hard for me to tell which one. Is it the, the countdown to the shot, or is it the bars? Because everything looks good on my end. Handoff for Navy over towards the left side, and it goes absolutely nowhere. Navy in France. 
Sounds like a country Navy would go to war with. Two yard loss. About four Irish defenders in on that play. Well, Navy's gonna start off this new era. No kin, Nia no Spatololo. Play action. And that quick pass is complete to Croy Myers. A nine yard gain. So Navy gets just about everything back and then some. Knocking on the doorstep for a first down. It is third and three. Oh. Uh, I wonder if the API is down for donor drive. That might be what's causing it. I'll double check that here in a second. Third and three. A pitch out towards the left and five Irish defenders stopping for a two yard loss. Oh, France surrenders on that one. Fourth and four coming up as Davies gonna go three and out. And this has the potential to get real ugly real quick for Navy. Navy is back to punt it away. And this punt is gonna be received inside the Irish 30. And it'll go across to the 40 yard line and there's a flag. And of course, with the Irish hold. Thanks, that's, that's great. DJ Brown, the guilty party there. So Notre Dame will start on their own 31 yard line after a very unnecessary holding penalty. So we have some kind of some bullshit creeping in. That's awesome. 422 left to go. Hartman back to pass. Has all day and oh, Evans drops it. Well, we'll say this about the two incompletions that Hartman's had. They really can't blame him for either of them. One was only where his receiver can get it, and the other was dropped. Three wide now for the Irish. And a handoff to Estime. Up the gut. Three-yard gain. I think that is the shortest gain, save for the touchdown romp, for Estime the entire game. This is only the second third down for the Irish. It is third and seven. Back to pass. And Chuck deep and a nice catch by Dion Colsey. A 20 plus yard pass there as Colsey get both feet down into the sideline. Again, just perfect passes so far from Hartman. Oh cool, we're gonna have a review. That, that's great, yeah, really awesome. He had both feet down. Yep, that's one, that's two, he is fine. Yes, it does stand. You jerks. Hopefully the uh, the replay booth gets lost in the flight to Ireland. Five wide, drink again. Hartman back to pass. Over the middle to Jaden Thomas for a four yard game. Everything coming extremely easy for the Irish as they keep marching down inside Navy territory. For a wide, four wide for Hartman. He hands off to Estime, who finally is brought down for a loss. Willie Collins, the fifth on the tackle. So the ball is on the Navy 42 and facing third down yet again are the Irish. They have converted both times so far. Back to pass is Hartman's got a lot of time. Throws underneath to Colsey and he manages to get just enough of the first down. Well, nobody was covering the underneath route and Colsey had just enough room and broke the one tackle he needed to to get inside this outside the sticks rather. Pretty wide, but this is gonna be a draw to Estime who goes up the gut and he is only getting one yard gain. Navy was definitely defending the pass with the line making the play they needed to on that one. March like sermons, march to the sea. Ooh, out. Yikes. And this pass is going deep and almost picked off. Well, that was the first errant pass, look. While Hartman has been throwing darts, we knew eventually at some point uh, the gunslinging mentality would come to bite and it nearly bit hard there. Hartman's back to pass again on third and nine. 
This one is dropped right into the bread basket of Colsey, but he drops it. Oh, my dear God. Oh, this kick's going to be damn near a 40 yard, uh, excuse me, damn near a 50 yard attempt. Kick is up. Kick is good. Well, that is absolutely drilled by a kicker whose name I quite honestly can't remember. Somebody in chat help me out. These are things I used to know. These are things I no longer know. So I know it's a different guy. But that's all I know. Kick is away. This one's returnable for Navy. But Hassan is stopped right past the 20. Yeah, the uh, the funny part is the field goal kicking is actually tuned down on the sliders, yet they still poke 50-plus yarders with regularity. The college kicker mentality is not in this game. Navy going back to pass because why not off the back foot? And there's a flag. Are we going to get crowning? Okay, so somehow a pass to absolutely nobody is pass interference on Cam Hart. Okay, I feel like I'm watching a Notre Dame game now. That that makes sense. Spencer Schrader. Ooh, that's a. Let's call him Schrader. Everybody's kicking game has been weak sauce for years. That's just college football. The good kickers are few and far between. A fake to the up back, pulled down by the QB. And that is gelatin? I'm going to call him gelatin. Six yard gain, second and four. See, I don't have to be specific anymore. I'm going to find the one Navy fan that's going to get pissed off at me on Twitch. And gelatin pitches, but the pitch almost got picked off. And Dabo Fufada. Take it down for a one yard loss. And we have my uh, typical coughing attack. Because I can't have a voice and it's in work and meetings all day long and streaming without having a coughing fit. Deep pass by Navy and it's complete, sure. And there's a tackle broken, nearly two tackles. Jaden Umbert, uh, uh, Umbarger. Or Umberger, we'll do that. Um, yeah, so Navy just got a 65-yard pass on Cam Hart. Okay, cool. It's great. Awesome. We were having fun. We were having a lot of fun until that moment. Guys, man, I'm called up gelatin and then just threw a freaking uncorked bomb. Well, inside the five is Navy. Pitch out to the right side, and that is an easy touchdown for Anton Hall. Navy brings it within a score. Pretty glad I brought the sun back, everybody. Are you happy? Are you not entertained? Is this what you wanted? Probably not, but it's what you're getting. Kick is up. Kick is good. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Let's see. But grabber dick. All right. Kick us away, and this is a touchback, and Notre Dame will try to get the offense back on track. Last drive uh, ended with a drop pass. That would have been an easy first down conversion, maybe even a touchdown. Irish had to settle three instead. Hartman, back to pass. And this is a nice throw. I almost said overthrew. I'm so used to doing a sim of not great quarterbacks. But Jaden Thomas is right there. That's just a pretty little pass that floats right into the window. But that was originally going to Colsey. First and 10. Ball almost at midfield for Notre Dame. And off to Estime, a little counter play all the way to the left. He breaks a couple tackles, but only gets three yards. Lucky that play wasn't blown up. And oh, cool. Estime's down and hurt. All right, this, this is great. This is awesome. Love it. Nightmares coming true. I swear to God. Hartman, back to pass. And this is nearly picked off. Oh boy. Starting to feel like some wheels are getting a little rattly. They haven't fallen off yet. Irish have two backs in the backfield. Can't tell if Estimates one of them if he's okay. 
Looks like it might be. This one's going deep. Almost caught. Jump ball to Jaden Thomas. And uh, the Irish are going to have a sad punt at the 50-yard line. Uh, so it was can't stop him. Touchdown. Shot ourselves in the foot. Field goal. And now we're punting into the end zone in near plus territory. All right. Well, if you haven't experienced the seven before, this is pretty much how things go. I was really genuinely excited that it may not be total bullshit, but here we are. And Gelatin pulls it down. He's going to be Gelatin, the whole thing. I, I know it's Clayton. Like, I can read. I'm not totally dyslexic, but the thought of a Gelatin running the triple option is funny to me, so here we go. And this is pitched out towards the left side and a seven yard gain for Fofana. We got France, Fofana, Gelatin. It's like a weird fancy dessert tray. Uh, but that's the end of the first quarter. Notre Dame leads, but barely 10 to seven with Navy driving as they flip sides. And he somehow is a bigger, yeah. The, yeah uh, there's a, a lot of reused models, and I don't think they really tried to count much. A little foul gets a nice TFL there. It was an attempt to just straight sweep hand off, and it did not work at all. So third and five. This is still a position where Navy, now if this was real Navy, they would probably run it and hope they get like fourth and two, but this Navy's passing, and it's complete, but short of the sticks. Now again, if this was Navy, this would be a no doubt go for it. Either to the up back or QB sneak. They would absolutely try to go for it, but sad punts abound. And the kick is away. And we'll be grabbed right inside the 15. One tackle broken, two tackles broken by Jaden McKinney. Or Jaden Mickey, I'm sorry. I, that's not even going dyslexic. That's adding a whole syllable. So Jaden Mickey brings it forward about 10 plus yards. Notre Dame will try this offense thing again. Last drive left something to be desired. Hartman back to pass, facing a blitz. Pass to Evans, complete, tries to stiff arm his way forward, but it stopped after an eight yard gain. That makes it second and two. All else fails, go back to your security blanket of a tight end. Welcome to Notre Dame, Sam. We got him a plenty. Now don't mind the one injury we have. There here comes the screen. This is set up well. And Tyree, oh, sorry, that's Gibran Payne. Or G, yeah, Gibran, right? Or Gibran, Gibran? Ah, I should have had the phonetics of that. Such a great name, I need to pronounce it right. First and 10, dart over the middle to Evans and breaks a tackle after the sticks, gets a couple more for a 14-yard gain. As Notre Dame is on the Navy side of the field. Gibran, so I had it right the first time. At least I think I did. That's the story I'm sticking to it. SMA hasn't been back in, so that's a little concerning. G. Braun gets a handoff. He cuts it upfield for a seven yard gain. So even though SMA has been out, the Irish not really losing a step on the field right now. Hartman. Back to pass, has some time and chucks it away. Felt a little bit of pressure and I guess uh, just didn't want to push it this time. So it's a third and short. Notre Dame comes out with three wide. Hartman back in the gun, dances around the pocket and throws to nobody. Off his back foot and we're gonna get a 53 yard field goal attempt, sure. Trainer will probably poke this through because we're not living in reality. And it's good. <laughs> There's no way in hell. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that just barely made it. Might have been good from a couple more yards, but dang, that was a poke and a half. That's what she said. Uh, okay, you make a 50 plus yarder and you can't get a touchback. Makes sense. This ball goes all the way up inside uh, the 30, probably about the 27, 28. Uh, yeah, 27. Being 
tell I'm out of practice. And off. And the sweep action for Hassan gets five yards. So Notre Dame's defense has been pretty steady, uh, except uh, just forget about that gigantic 60-plus yard bomb you gave up to a freaking Navy team. Fake to the up back. Delton holds it down. And he is all the way across midfield for an 18-yard gain. So I think the other reason I'm going to call him Gelatin is I got it in my head. And there's no way in hell I'll stop either way. So I might as well just lean into it. It's not quite the Dexter Wimbush uh, miss talks of old. But hey, I got to do what I got to do. This play is just blown up 20 different ways. Uh, about half the Irish defense on the play to take Fafana down behind the line. A quarterback blown up, pitch man blown up. Just not a chance. Botello just put a huge stick on the QB there. Second and 14, about five minutes left to go in the second. Man in motion, I have no idea what Navy was trying to do, but uh, somehow Notre Dame's gonna get credited with a sack. That was, um, I mean, it looked like a passing play. The line went back, but the problem is the line stepped back to be pass protection and the quarterback ran like it was an option. Either way, it's third and 17. Back to passes Gelatin and he chucks it downfield. Sure, why not? Why, why the fuck not? Sure, let's do this. Umbarger gets another he nearly has 100 yards in receiving yards himself. I think there have been three total completions. He's got two of them for nearly 100 yards. Unbelievable. Well, Navy is back inside the red zone again. Pitch out to the left side. And that should have been stopped by Cam, but he decided to let France go ahead and get two yards. Look, France is the one that's supposed to surrender, not you. How the fuck does the Sim keep doing this? Year after year, what's the new game gonna do to us? And Anton Hall gets no gain on that handoff. A little over four minutes to go. Third and eight's gonna be upcoming here. At this point, I'm just I'm just ready for like a stupid corner like fade to be a touchdown. Uh, up the middle and dropped. Gelatin got jello arm there. This will be a 35-yard field goal attempt for Navy. Try to bring it within three. The kick is up, and it's good. So it's a Notre Dame-Navy game. It's closer than it should be, and just like we all expect. And yet, so about now, I don't know how many of y'all are still on Twitter, so you're either on Twitter or Blue Sky. Things will be lit lighting up about Oh, how can Notre Dame be keeping it this close to Navy as if this shit doesn't happen every single year? And I remember the times when we could used to blow them out. Every now and then it happens. Last time it was, we did it in Ireland before. Maybe we'll do it again. I haven't been doing commentary, but here's Merriweather's first completion or second. All oh, right, I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm not even drinking. I'm having water. Second and inches, ball's on the 44. Thank God I'm not putting this in a podcast. That, that actually takes a lot of pressure off. Uh, that pass, I thought. Oh, what a what a touching touching tribute to Drew Pine, getting your, your pass swatted at the line when there's no reason to. Third and inches, and we're gonna, oh, never mind. It's a QB draw. Yeah, that's what we should do with Sam. Let's run him because the season won't be totally fucked if he gets hurt. It's a great idea. Let's never do that again. I wish I could blame Tommy Rees, but I can't anymore. Ball's on the 48. Oh, my God. We're going to run him. <laughs> Fucking green option. But you know, when you got Sam Hartman, you got a guy that has just ungodly amounts of passing touchdowns at Wake Fucking Forest. You obviously want to slow mesh that guy. <laughs> Another read option again. This time he actually hands it off to Payne for a three yard gain. Good Lord, third and two. Just 
Just a little over two minutes left. And this is a nice touch pass to Tobias Merriweather, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's number five. Yes. And he was behind four defenders. <laughs> you know what? If, if Hartman actually puts a little zip on that wide open pass, that's probably a touchdown. The EA quality that you pay for. Look. I mean... This game is over a decade old and we're still kicking, so. Oh dear God. Well, I think that was an attempted fade, but um it was really shitty, whatever it was. Pass is broken up. Just inside the end zone. Hartman will okay, run it himself. Sure. And there's a face mask. <laughs> Fucking Navy. <laughs> Ripping face mask, hitting knees. Sure, why not? Well, the Irish get first and goal after toying with fate and letting Navy try to rip Hartman's head off. Two tight ends for the Irish. And this is a pitch off to the left to Payne. He tries to cut towards the corner, doesn't really have anything. Only able to stretch it for a yard. Notre Dame uses their first timeout. 152 left to go on the half. Four wide for the Irish. And a read option. Hartman breaks the tackle. Almost breaks the second one. What are we doing? Don't stop. For the love of God. Do not do this. Please. I beg you. Is third and goal. And oh, God. No, we're going to have a Hartman touchdown. Sure, why not? Just playing with fire. Well, can't argue with results, I guess. Touchdown for Notre Dame as they resume the two-score lead. And Son, you just got trucked by Sam fucking Hartman. Kick is up. Kick is good. Ten-point lead for the Irish. As the first half starts winding down now maybe we'll get the ball to start the second half so we'll see if they try to push it down the field or if they just be conservative and see if Notre Dame just has a hiccup either way they will be starting at their 27 yard line 124 left to go in the half well, Navy might be passing, coming out with three wide, and they do chuck it, and it is picked off. Ben Moe cashing back in, and he's going to get a bonus 15 for that face mask. Well, Navy really thought they were a passing offense, and they tried to chuck a duck deep, but this time they picked on Morrison, not Cam Hart, and it royally backfires. Notre Dame has a chance to really put the hurt on him now if they convert this. Back to passes Hartman has all day. Chucks it to the end zone. Off the hands of Merriweather. A little bit of a dangerous pass, but thankfully Merriweather could jump higher and be taller than everybody else. He was the only one that got a hand on it. Back to pass again is Hartman. And this one's going down to the opposite sideline, but well overthrown. Don't know if that was meant to be thrown away or, or just an actual overthrow. Notre Dame six for nine on third down. Nice. Back to pass over the middle and complete to Merriweather for a first down. And we have another flag. And Navy loves the face mask. Face mask. So this is going to be inside the five now on the four-yard line to be specific for the Irish. Notre Dame has two timeouts, a minute three left. There is absolutely no rush at all here. And here's a read option. Hartman's going to try to get a second touchdown. <laughs> Three-yard gain. He's on the one. A second timeout used by the Irish. 59 seconds left. Under center is Hartman. Back to pass. <laughs> We're going to lose each part. <laughs> a little drag round. Nobody got out of bounds. It says a zero yard game, but we definitely went backwards. 
Third and goal, back to pass. Hartman rolling around the pocket, finds a wide open Merriweather for a touchdown. Well, tried to make it look harder than it had to be, but the result is what it needed to be. Irish will try to get up 17 before the half of this extra point. Kick is up, kick is away, and it is good. So a 17 point lead. Navy has 40 seconds left to do something. We'll see if they do a very stupid passing idea once again. Or who knows, maybe it's just coin flip city. It's gonna be either a long bomb or it's gonna be an interception. It's just gambling, left and right. So Navy will come out with three wide, so they might just be passing once again. And they are. Oh, nope, Jelton pulls it down. Oh, and he pays for it. Oh, dear Lord. Bell rung. Second and six, less than 30 seconds ago. Navy not even trying to use a timeout. They might just be happy to go into the locker room. They're still coming out three wide, so they may just try to chuck it. They're sure aren't in a rush. And they may just make me sit here and talk for about 10 seconds where they snap it with one left. I hope you throw a pick six. That's exactly what they do. Pulls it down because that's the smart play. Well, at the end of the half, it is Notre Dame 27, Navy 10. And as we have a quick break of the action here, this is my time to remind everybody watching live first. Thank you live. If you happen to watch on the VOD on YouTube, thank you as well. We are all here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is raise money to help change kids' health through Extra Life. If you're having fun, if you're enjoying what's going on, throw a dollar in there, just a dollar. Let's see if we can just get like everybody to just throw a dollar or so in. That makes a difference. If there's no donation too small, you could use the extra life command in the chat, or you could just go directly to gamingforaven.org and get that donation in. Everything is tax deductible. And heck, you have corporate match and ask your company if they can match your donation as well. And we can get it heading to the Children's Health Foundation of Oklahoma City. All of this is for cancer research in honor of Avon, who lost his battle with leukemia. Uh, we're, we're coming close on 10 years ago. It is, it's been a long time uh, since Avon passed. It's been over eight years since I've been doing this. And well, I mean, that is an ask me anything of whether I would have a penis for a nose or a vagina for a mouth. I don't even know what to say. But I guess that would give a whole new meaning to the word dickhead. Yeesh. All right. Well, um, I saw a 32 yard return. And a pitch off to the left side. Six yard game for France. As Navy will do their best to crawl back into this lead. If they don't get a touchdown here, they're really gonna face an uphill battle if Notre Dame gets the ball back and scores. And back to pass. Oh man, the receiver was barely even looking. Hassan gets lit up, he pays for that first down. But the sticks are moving. So a little bit more passing than we're used to seeing from Navy. I wonder if this is the Desperation time or, or just the lack of Kenny Boy on the sidelines. Oh, there's the old left back handoff. Fafana gets a six yard gain. So Navy has done some kind of adjustment over at halftime. It's a question that leads to a lot of discussion when drinking. There. Oh, and coming crashing down. On the blitz is Cam Hart, a very well-timed up call by Al Golden. 
Hey, sometimes blessing the secondary works. Look at that. Just don't do the safety. Corners are fine. Safeties, please don't. Now third and long for Navy. Ball driven back to midfield. Back to pass. Golden brings the house, and it is incomplete. Thankfully, could not hold on to the ball. Bertrand was closest defender on the play. And the old sad punt coming. Because when you're a triple option team playing a top 25, you definitely want to punt at midfield. Good call all around. Well, the Irish will start this on the 20 and have a chance to put this one away and out of reach. And it looks like the Irish might just be aggressive coming out with four wide. Hartman is indeed back to pass. Oh, and there's the pick. Oh, this one could be taken back. Oh, broke a tackle to the 30, inside the 20, over to the 10 yard line and ouch, that one's gonna sting. So Williams picks off the Hart errant Hartman pass, but living dangerously and finally paid for that one. Pass was intended for Tobias Merriweather, and all of a sudden, Navy just doesn't have life. They are knocking on the doorstep of bringing this within a two-score game. So Navy will start actually just outside the 10. Generous spot if you're an Irish fan there. So they still can get a first down, and Gelatin pulls this down. And it's a seven yard game. Not great. Second and three, and you would have to assume that is three tries to not just score, but to get a first down. Uh, this is probably about as an ideal situation you can get if you're Navy. Fakes to the up back, pulls it down, and that is a touchdown for Navy. Well, sir, if you score it right, I will call you Glayton or Glayton or whatever your name might actually be. There is a touchdown for Navy. And now trying to bring it in within 10. And they do, so wow, what a swing. Notre Dame was looking to get to put it out of reach and instead, you're gonna have to play keep away just a little bit longer. 27 to 17 is the score. The Irish will start on their own 25 after getting a touchback. Well, you got a gunslinger at QB. And they're gonna give him five wide to sling it again. Step his way, it's just gonna be a quick dump to Evans. Nobody covering him at all and he will take the free 11 yards. Nothing more than a short little look route there. Two tight ends for Notre Dame here. Hand off to Payne. Cuts it up the middle, it's five yards. Oh, the good old physics engine. Legs don't bend that way. <laughs> hey, we haven't had a false start yet. There we go. Rocco, my boy. Rocco, what are you doing? Don't do this to me, Rocco. Two years ago, I, I called you, or was it two years ago? How long it, has it been since I did a top 25 and I put them on there and I shouldn't have? Don't do this to me, Rocco. Well, Evans gets a dump off here. This is a little three yard gain. It's gonna be third and medium after all that said and done. It is third and six according to the PA announcer because the score bug is broken. <laughs> That's gonna suck if that keeps up. Throws over the middle and Colson cannot escape his defender. And that is gonna be fourth down and the Irish are gonna punt this one away. So they get one set of first downs and cannot get another. This punt is away. Gonna have a lot of room to return this and they run right into a defender. All right, works for me. So Navy will start on their 20, I'll call it the 28. And they got time to run their offense now. They can just start bleeding clock if they want to. And, oh, they should have pitched that one. Instead, Gelatin gets smacked around. Only a two yard gain there. 
second and eight, I believe. I'm going to have to actually, like, pay attention now. I can't be lazy. Fake to the up back. Going to pass it. Are they going to chuck it? Downfield and dropped. He was open. And, Cam goodness, Cam Hart is getting abused down there. That was primed to be a huge gain, and now it's third and long. Navy might have to pass it again here. They're going to. And this is a slant complete across the middle to Croy Myers. A 16-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. That makes it first and 10. So who is that on there? I can't even tell. Hard to read numbers. But that's one thing I hope is, like, alternate camera angles for <laughs> being able to do CPU games. Back to pass and sacked. Riley Mills up the gut, just <laughs> abused the O lineman. Bertrand was the first one on the hit, and Miles cleaned it up. A oh, Mills. Miles, what the hell am I doing? So it is now um, third and a really long way. And they're just going to run an option here, and no gain. So Notre Dame gets Navy off the field. Oh, no, now it's third down. Okay. All right, third and long. Like I said, I really need to pay attention. Back to pass, and that is a fumble? Yes, it is. That is a fumble, and it is picked up by Notre Dame, and they will take this one to the house. That sure looked like a pass, but Clarence Lewis went in and, and scooped it up. There was no whistle. <laughs> what in the hell was that? Primo Sim BS right there. And that play's gonna stand. It ain't getting reviewed. The ball literally just shot forward. I can't even explain that. <laughs> But Notre Dame benefits, and now Navy is doubled up. And that could be the death nail for them. This might be their last chance to make something happen. I know it's early to call it, but if Notre Dame knows you're going to pass, that is not a good combination. And that is almost the position Navy's in now. Lots of three wide sets. It is an option, but absolutely blown up. Gelatin had to hold it because there was absolutely no choice there. The pitch man was literally covered, so he had to take the hit there. Second and 10. A little jet sweep handoff. This is only going to go for a couple yards, so it'll be third and long once again for Navy. This just is not going to cut it. See if we get another weird bullshit fumble. Back to pass. Dancing in the pocket and sacked again. And yep, it is about to be pin your ears back on an undersized Navy line time. Uh, this is not good if you're a fan of the midshipmen. So there's some moments of terror, but it is evening out. And it could be smooth sailing here the rest of the way. Yes, I use the sailing and boat term on purpose. This punt is away. Lots of room for Mickey. Cuts inside the 45, an 11 yard return. Notre Dame's got an extremely short field to try to put this sucker out of reach. In case you're wondering, the spread is 20. Just saying. Four wide. Hand off to Payne. He tries to stretch it, and he didn't get much. He didn't get anything. In fact, he lost the yard. It'll be second and 11. Uh, but that does bleed a little bit of time off the clock. See, in this right here, this potential situation is why I'm not doing an FCS sim, because it would be brutal. All day for Hartman. Over the middle. Well, he sure increased the difficulty on that. There had to have been somebody more open. Because, good Lord. 
threw it a little bit behind Thomas there. And, you know, had to reach over the linebacker's head to go get it, and he did. It's going to be third and short after all that effort. Just over 130 left to go here in the third quarter. And off to Payne. And he is just short, maybe. Are they going to give it to him? Can't tell. They did. Okay. So just barely getting across there. That looked like a very generous spot, but we'll take it. Two tight ends. Back to pass. And complete to Holden State. I didn't expect to be doing that name today. So it is second and seven. Just over a minute to go in the third. And off to Payne, who has filled in nicely for Estime. Although I have not seen an injury update. So afterwards, we'll check just what kind of nightmares the Sim has promised us. 50 seconds left to go in the quarter. Back to passes Hartman. Like almost max protect there. And Evans gets it and basically just kind of falls down over the marker. Stays in bounds. So if I remember right too, isn't the clock gonna keep running on first downs except for like inside two minutes? Or did I imagine that? I know it's gonna happen at some point. Paying counter off to the left side. Gets a nice chunky yardage there. It's gonna be like second and five, second and four. Let's see, I'm gonna call it second and five. So this could potentially be the last play of the quarter and they're gonna run Hartman with the speed option, but it actually works. Tackle broken and Jadarian Price with an 11-yard gain. Two tight end, two wide for the Irish. Price still in the backfield. He'll get the handoff. And he heads over to the right side. And that is the end of the third quarter. We head into the fourth. Notre Dame 34, Navy 17. And the Irish are just outside the 10 yard line. Oh, the score bug, maybe it's gonna work. Handoff here to Tobias Merriweather. It's third and eight, the score bug's fixed, thank God. I don't have to strain anymore. Five wide drink. And this is going to be a pass very short of everything. And Mitchell Evans is going to use two yards on a like a. Um, well, it would be like if somebody drew a screen, but didn't know that you needed blockers on the screen. I think that's the best way I could describe that play. Again, I am going to say, last time I checked the spread, it was 20. As the Irish now take a 20-point lead. With 7.21 left to go, Navy trails by 20. And they are going to go ahead and take this out of the end zone. Going to the 20, just past the 25. Got a lockdown defense. <laughs> Sim, don't lie, I know. I've been looking at that number, and I'm just like, what am I going to do? What, what am I going to do with this one? All right, now you got to think Navy is, is going to, yeah, start spreading around. They don't have a choice at this point. Kamari Williams, it's a seven-yard gain. So, I mean, it's it's... Pin your ears back. And if they get some first downs on the ground, who gives a crap? Let them waste their time. And, whoa, quick drop back. And I think that pass was intended for me. You know, when you're three for nine on third down, uh, that tends to be what they call not great, especially as an option team. And they're going to run it here. And they're going to get one more third down conversion on their tally. But like I said, you give up the run, who cares? That makes it first and 10. 
Make him run the whole way through. This is going to be an annoying backdoor cover as Navy marches down the field, kills the entire clock, although there's a sack here. It's going to be Riley's second sack of the game. I mean, really, it's, it's one of those he ran into him sacks because he was trying to go up downfield, run it himself. But yeah, this, this has all the markings of they, they have the ball at the end of the game and run it all the way down there. And Notre Dame has so little clock, it makes more sense for them just to sit on the ball. Almost picked off there, by the way, as I talk gambling, you know, the real important part of this game right now. And another chance to convert a third down. I do not think they're getting this one on the ground. Just going to throw that out there. And that pass is sailing well past the intended receiver. Fourth and 13. And now Davey will go for it. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is some AI, old AI bullshit right here. Oh, oh, and throws it like about 12 yards short of the sticks. Well, now it is only a matter of time and Notre Dame can start bleeding all the clock they want to but sure they're going to pass it anyway because the computer is figured that there's still a lot of time left on the clock so why not <laughs> prolong Navy's pay second and ten for the Irish coming out with four wide just run the fucking thing please thank you Payne runs over a defender oh my god and runs through another defender on his way to an 11 yard gain. So after the injury to Estime, Payne showing he's still got enough trucking ability back there as well. Another jet sweep here for the Irish. This one working a lot better than the last one to Merriweather. It's Chris Tyree, that's the guy you want to give the sweep to. Finds his first touch of the game in that slot. It is now first and goal for the Irish. 5.45 left here in the game. As the Irish look for that cover. Back to pass. Into the end zone and just to the left of the goal post. Wide left. Second and goal. Ball just inside the 10. Four receivers bunched close to the line. And off to Payne. He's going to get about six. And that's six yards. That shouldn't be five. He's on the four. That's a crappy spot. Yeah, it's six yards in my book, Payne. Price in the backfield now. Four wide for the Irish. Hartman is sacked. <laughs> Sad field goal for a cover coming. Or as uh, they would say on a broadcast where they're not trying to mention the spread, that this field goal is very important to some. And it is good. So the Irish put a 40 burger up there. 40 to 17 and a 23 point lead with just under five minutes to go. And Irish will kick this one away. This is going right on the one yard line. So it's returnable. And right on the 27 once again for Hassan. So here comes a reel of gelatin getting pounded and pounded. And there's that weird ass fumble. <laughs> Everybody on the Davies try line, just a big old shrug. All right, well, maybe we'll come out and they're they're in the pistol. Oh, God, this is how you know things are bad. Back to pass, and, oh, God, Jelton just panics. He literally ran over Bortello's leg, and he gets sacked. And I think Riley Bills, yeah, three-sack game for Riley. <laughs> he is just a recipient of this fool running right into him over and over and over again. So 4.45 left to go here in the game as this one winds down. 
We're going to remind you that, well, not immediately after. I'll take a break to get a couple things set up. But we will have a little bit of Tears of the Kingdom for about an hour or so before I call it a night after this is done. And remember, there is a stream upcoming on Thursday. And if you're in the Oklahoma City area, come on down to the Hilton Garden Inn over in Edmond for Miracle Con all day Saturday. Back to pass is Gelatin. Flings it over the middle, and Cam Hart nearly got his revenge on that one. Fourth and five, and it's desperation go for time. See, again, this is typically where, like, an actual Navy team would try to, like, just get the first down so they could just hold on to the ball. I don't think they made it. Nope, they did. It looked like it was short. Well, maybe we'll hold on to the ball and kill some more time on this clock with just under four minutes to go. Back to pass, floated, and complete <laughs> Kamari Williams. A 32-yard thing. You know they're passing. How Cam, son. I swear if that is a harbinger for things to come, that is, that is not the Cam Hart I know. You can't be giving that shit up. Here comes a corner blitz, which is an interesting call. And right down the middle for France, a 16-yard gain. And all of a sudden, that back door just creaking open. There's still plenty of time left. This is infuriating. And looks like we're going to get an option here. It is a QB keeper for three yards. The clock continues to tick down as many friends in the desert begin to sweat. Second and seven. Back to pass, pulled down, got a lot of room, and that is a fumble and a touchdown recovered by Navy in the end zone. <laughs> Sure. Why, why not? <laughs> he was stripped right before the goal line, but he recovered the ball in the end zone, and now Navy's going to go for two. <laughs> oh, this is great. And this is an easy two-point conversion for Navy on the, on the uh, QB keeper. A little bit of reverse action there, and just nobody on the opposite edge for the Irish. And here comes the onside kick. God, this is just made of every ND Navy nightmare right now. And, oh, well, thankfully Notre Dame got it because it sure as hell looked like it bounced off everybody right into Navy. Sim, don't lie. <laughs> so, does Marcus Freeman say F it? and try to score here? Or is he just be a good sport for Navy? And he's gonna let Payne run this down. Navy is not using their timeouts as of yet. If they happen to stop Notre Dame here, I would suspect they use one. Another hand off to Price and oh, they're stopped and I think the timeout would be coming. Let's see what they call here, or are they they just gonna roll the dice on this one? I mean, it's a two score game. Guess they wanna wait till it ticks under two minutes. Well, Notre Dame's going for this in every which way. They're gonna try to convert with this five wide set. Drink and drink heavy. And Hartman's gonna run this all the way down. Cool. Well, now I got time to check on, on what's going on with the, uh, the tracker here. Let's see. And here's the snap. Hartman back to pass, throws it short of the sticks. And Rico Flores goes nowhere. And oh my God, they're gonna kick a field goal. The 55 yard attempt is good. 
what is this? What is going on? Just barely tucked in there. Notre Dame leads by 18 and only 18. Oh my dear God. As an 18 yard return and maybe we'll have a little bit more time to get their faces pounded in just a touch. So 133 left to go here. Back to pass and to nobody. So I am taking a look. Oh, I think I know what you mean, though. I see the, the tracking issue because it did not round it off. I will see if maybe I got rate limited or something. I will take care of that during the break. Back to pass, Chuck downfield, and it finally bites him. And now Notre Dame, will they cover? Will they cover? <laughs> no, they will not. Oh, Benjamin Morrison with his second interception of the game. Jump ball heading his way, a very, very poor idea. Notre Dame will now be able to just sit on this and head home with their first virtual victory of the virtual season. Hand off to Payne for a gain of four. And yes, Navy has waved the white flag. Not going to try to stop the clock here with the timeouts. Or, well, they called a timeout at some point. I don't even know when they did that. And a handoff and a first down. I will laugh very hard if they just let him score. It won't matter. The clock will run down. Navy covers <laughs> in a hilarious backdoor situation. But a win is a win, and Notre Dame starts the season off by taking out Navy. And there's the play of the game, the weird ass fumble that I still can't describe if I even tried. Yes, this is very realistic ND. Hell gambler spread, don't lie. Longest field goal in real life is 53 yards, and yet we booted a 55 yard. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it was entertaining. We had our dose of some bullshit. So it was always good for that as we wrap things up. Oh, there's your, there's your player of the game. Long of 54. I'm giving him the extra yard. Yes, please drive home safely. Thank you, PA announcer. All right, that's going to do it. I'm going to get a little promotion screenshot here. And uh, we'll have some Breath of the Wild here in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here. I'm gonna get some stuff set up for Breath of the Wild. I encourage y'all to stick around, make some donations. I'm also gonna see if I can't figure out what in the world is going on with my tracker real quick uh, and see what's going on there. But all that being said, I will be right back in a few.